pa malo samo za rotiriš na njih ukratiš i ovako. Fakim se. Ja se primiš.
Continue, continue. Can shoot immediately. We build up triangle on the left side. One, two, three. And defense against that. Wing defender, half defender, center defender. On the other side, two defenders. This is wing defender. And again, one, two, three attackers. 
So again, on the ball side is three against three. Now, full options for everybody. Backcourt shoot, wing uh, pivot, screen inside, screen outside, or screen for the winger inside, continue here. Pivot can score, everything is free. If the ball is passed to the other side, half defender out, wing defender back, center defender coming to the other side. Uh, so for a short moment, three against two, then three against three here, and here, half defender going back, wing defender going a little bit up, like we had it in some situations before. Uh, so maximum three passes uh, between these two players, that's everything. Uh, no more restrictions. All passes are allowed. From wing, jumping in, to pivot here. Uh, long distance pass here and here. Long distance pass here. Uh, everything goes. Uh, observe and make good decisions. So come on. We need two players for pivot position. Come on. Back, 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 back. Second. Second service, and go. Come on. satisfied with this practical demonstration. Uh, from my side I am. Uh, you could see some special movements we have produced yesterday or developed yesterday, work it out into game situations, small game situations, and you see that is really hard work if you have always the pressure to make a decision, to observe the defense, uh, not only on your small space, but even on the other side too. Maybe wing defender is running out, catching the ball, then must find the free wing for instance. Uh, but good players, they have this view, uh, concentration in your space and view to the other side of the corner. What's in between? And, uh, the basic situation is that in modern handball and in the level those players are active now, uh, integration of the wing position is not worked out. Uh, very often wing players move to the position, stay there and wait. Uh, we have almost position of the backcourt players very close to the sideline but then their orientation uh, is always to move inside. Uh, so they never attack to this gap between first and second defender. And I think, especially if you have a little bit more open defense, like 3-2-1, uh, you have to go in a position away, a little bit from the sideline, and make variations of your movement inside and outside. Uh, this is one. Uh, especially if you move outside, you draw the defender to go there. Second is that this movement is very nice if the ball is coming from the other side. So if this one is moving, this one is moving. Uh, the defense is always orientated in this direction. So if the pass is now coming here, we're going to this gap, perfect. Uh, so because it's away from the orientation of the defense. And if we can connect this with the screen, it's the best situation. Very many teams, they always go for inside screen because this is right-handed player and want to go this way. Screen is, first of all, a help for the players in attack. Most of these players, they are very strong with the inside move. They don't need so much help, but they are weak on the movement to the second way. 
Huh? And this is the moment they need the help. So I prefer this screen to the outside here <laughs> huh? to go to the gap between first and second defender. Especially if we use it as an inside screen to get one and two here, huh? it's the same. Maybe draw a half defender and then open the way to the center again. Huh? So this is always the work of these three positions together, which I call triangle defense. We have a nice triangle here and a nice triangle here. We draw the defense to one and to the other side. Then we must shift the ball and go again here. Because most of the defense, no matter whether it's 6-0, or whether it's 3 to 1, they are strong in the center. They want to avoid this. So we must attack here to draw them and open the space. And this is what I wanted to show in this practical demonstration. Thank you. Questions? Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. Defense. Yes, for sure. Uh, but uh, for those who have been here last year, we had this one-on-one -on, -one on the wings, two one-on-one uh, -on -one in the half, and then combination, two on two here, two on two here. Uh, this was first of all defense work, but it was a good situation for attackers too, because defense sometimes was out, sometimes was down, uh, and on the half the positions the same. So variability in defense, this was the idea uh, last year. Uh, but. If the defense is working in a different way, the attack has to get adapted to this. And the same is here in this way. Huh? If the uh, attack is circulating the ball very fast, defense has to get adapted to this. Huh? So from my point of view, the best drills in handball are those drills who not for attack or for defense, but all together. Huh? And if both sides are working 100%, it's perfect. Huh? And I think it's not, uh, it's easy to see that they have fun in finding the solutions, but defense has fun to intercept, yeah? so everything is perfect for both sides.